Hello everyone, my name is Adrian and today we will be continuing with our quest to criticize more e-commerce websites uh, and find out what we could uh, do uh, better uh, about them. So, for those of you who haven't seen the previous episodes, let me uh, really quickly clarify why this video series exists. So basically, uh, after working for an e-commerce agency for more than five years, I have decided to start a short video series um, sharing my knowledge and obviously uh, honing my skills in the process. Uh, I would like to help e-commerce businesses uh, to be better, uh, to uh, gain uh, more uh, users to uh, gain more revenues and that's why I am choosing random online stores and uh, I am commenting on them. Um, basically, uh, as we know, uh, in the current environment, e-commerce websites um, are uh, gaining in popularity and they have been gaining in popularity for the last couple of years at least. Uh, so uh, I think it would be a good idea uh, to uh, share what I know and to um, see how we can make e-commerce even better than it is. So. Without any further ado, uh, let's look at the first um, store I have chosen. Uh, as with the previous videos, we will be uh, only commenting on one store. Probably the video will most likely take about 30 minutes. We will see. Maybe the store will be so perfect that uh, we will not spend uh, as much time on it. So the store I have uh, chosen for today is not a, a shoe store as we did previously, but this is a clothing store. Uh, it's called, I believe it's uh, pronounced Anthropology. So anthropology.com. Um, and as previously we have um, looked into the mobile version of the site, we are not looking uh, for the desktop version because, as you probably all know, uh, the uh, majority of uh, of uh, websites are uh, accessed from uh, mobile devices. So, okay, first impressions from anthropology. Let's see, we have uh, celebrating International Women's Day, so this is like a promotional banner. That's fine. Um, I have seen more and more online stores, uh, including this sort of a uh, top bar uh, in a contrasting color to uh, draw attention uh, to some kind of a new promotion uh, or some special sale uh, kind of thing. We have the logo, we have the search, we have the basket and we have the menu. So uh, first of all, let's look at the uh, main page. Uh, okay, so this looks a bit different than uh, than what we are commonly seeing uh, in the majority of uh, of online uh, website of online uh, e-commerce websites, because we don't have uh, a big banner uh, up front, but we have uh, but we have these photos with I believe she is a model. Mm. And then we have, okay, and below every photo we can shop, uh, shop the edit, shop dresses, shop tops, and so on and so forth. Okay, so we have, um, so this uh, looks like a more of an, an influencer type of website. Um, because it seems that the the owner or the owners um, would like us to be inspired more than just go into the website, see the products and buy them. Uh, so I think that this is what what's uh, this is what we are supposed to feel when we visit uh, the website. Uh, OK, and we have some more articles we have about us. Mm. Mm, surprise and delight, unexpected, distinctive finds. Okay. At least the 
main web the main the home page sorry is distinctive uh, I, I like it it's something different and we also have email sign up let's hear about the latest greatest uh, from our family of brands okay as I said uh, in the previous videos maybe it would be a good idea to uh, to add some more information um, to this block like what are what exactly are we are we getting uh, in these emails in these newsletters mm. okay oh yeah i didn't see that sorry this is uh, a very small font so we will get offers promotions our commercial messages that's great that's great i i like it we have a store locator get email and we have a footer where we can find additional sections of the site perfect i love it uh, we can also switch languages probably and we have the main uh, main uh, links to privacy policies terms of use and so on great and we also have social media and okay we can down download the app for uh, for iphones overall very good main page i like it let's try uh, okay let's maybe can we close this no we can't okay some people like to close this section so maybe a, a small uh, a small cross uh, in the corner and we can close or uh, maybe just write down close uh, and we could uh, we could close this bar because for some people it may be distracting or annoying let's try the search okay i like that like from the very beginning we click search and we can search in the trending uh, in the trending phrases and we also can look for popular products amazing we uh, are pointing our clients straight to the products uh, that we would like them to search for or buy great okay um what can we search let let's search blouse okay so we have some suggested mm, suggested terms great uh, we don't have suggested products so maybe that would be a good thing maybe remove the trending uh, section and display like the best selling blouses or maybe if someone puts in blouse you can display like trending blouses maybe uh, i think that giving your clients suggestions about the products is a good thing here but we have blouse let's execute the search and let's see what results we get okay so we search for blouse good and we have a two column view i like it so we can see the photos on the models that's also good this seems to be uh, like a new wish trend uh, where we will be putting uh, clothes on models and uh, putting the photos uh, as the first photo uh, that the customer sees okay and we can filter and sort that's great okay so we can sort we can filter by color brand that's amazing uh, every search um, search results page should include filtering should include sorting as many filters as you can give the clients the better so we have only some really basic filters like brand color size that's fine okay so uh, before we go any further let's go back a little bit and let's look at the menu okay so the menu like again uh the menu is on the right hand side i don't know if that's a conscious choice it most definitely is <laughs> Uh, because the the whole layout seems to be very well thought well thought out um, 
So this seems to be intentional. Um, and we have uh, some sections, new dresses, clothing, plus shoes, accessories, accessories, home and furniture, beauty and wellness, sale, gifts. Great, I like it. Let's see what we have when we go into a section. Okay, so we have a subsec subsections or subcategories. Uh, let's go jackets, shuffle jackets, shirt jackets, blazers. Great, like great. Uh, uh, separation in the menu overall I like it a lot so let's choose a category let's go into it let's choose a product um, okay what can we choose leather mo moto jacket okay but uh, once we look at the category let's let's maybe look a little bit closer so we have breadcrumbs up here so we know where we are we have the name of the category great uh, we can shop by okay so we can choose a different category and we can filter and sort again good as many uh, attributes as you can get the better with clothing maybe um uh maybe what, what's it called I, I can't remember but like the ingredients so the, the composition of the material or material type uh, as a filter could be a good idea um, so you can definitely add some additional um, attributes like long sleeve short sleeve the type of color you know any anything uh, anything can go in here the more the better uh, at least i think so okay so let's choose this moto jacket let's go into the product page and what can we see um, so as i said i would like to close this because then the product will uh, will have a bit more place to display so we've got the product title price at the top or we can pay in interest free installments with afterpay okay i i'm thinking whether or not we should be adding this information here but if you if you have the price here Yes, it makes sense to uh, to include information like installment payments below the price. Then we have product photo. Maybe also because the product photo is like very long, very big. Um, maybe that's why the price information is uh, moved to the top. Uh, so that the customers can see after they enter the product page how much money uh, the particular product costs okay let's go down below okay so i guess we can switch between photos yes yes we can okay mm. Blank NYC online exclusive. Okay, what is this? Once we click it, okay, so this is the brand name, right? Okay. Online exclusive, write a review. Like again, um, I don't mind having the brand name and the brand name is linked to a whole category of uh, like filled with uh, the brand products although i think it may be a little bit distracting uh, to the client who, or to the customer who would click on it and then keep browsing instead of focusing on the product that he or she has well she uh, or they uh, have already found sorry um so Mm, and with the reviews, especially, is this a, 
No, I don't think this is a rating, so this has no rating. So especially when a product has no rating, why are we displaying this information at the top? It can be displayed down below. And then we can choose the color, good, sizing, quantity. That's fine. Then we have a size guide, which should open in a pop-up, does it? It does. Okay. Yes, that's fine. I like it. And we can choose different sizings. Great. So let's say that we choose a medium size quantity one. And what else do we have down below? Store pickup availability. Okay, so we can pick up in store. That's good. We can add it to registry to wish list. We have some product details. Good. Uh, we have some um, attributes that may be um, important to the uh, customers, like the type of material, right? Polyester, spandex lining, um, shipping and returns. Great. This is uh, a good place to include shipping and returns information with shipping costs, shipping delivery times, and so on. And we also have an upselling uh, section, complete this look, which I also like. And yeah, and we have ratings and review down below. So why are we... Why do we have this information twice on the same page? I would move it. I would move it. I would not distract the client um, and show the client that the product has no reviews with, because this may sometimes uh, act to our disadvantage, right? Because the client may think, oh, this is a really good product. I like it, but it has no reviews. So I'm not really sure whether or not I should buy it. Okay. So overall, overall a nice product page. Let's go to basket. Okay, so we add it to basket and we can go to checkout. We have this sort of quick pop-up. Let's click on our basket section. Okay. okay, we have delivery options. What happens here? Okay, so we have a pop-up that shows us what kinds of deliveries are available. I like it. We have standard shipping, how much it takes, uh, whether it's free over a certain uh, cash limit. I like that. And we have our product with the price, with the color, sizing. We can remove it, edit, save for later, increase the number of, uh, of items we would like to buy, add gift wrapping. That's all good. Order summary. Um, I don't know what this is. What is this? I don't know. It, it wants me to uh, redirect me somewhere. Uh, so I don't know what this is. I'm not going to click it. Um, this is probably confusing to the client. So I would correct that. I don't know what this is. Um, and we have subtotal shipping to be determined, good, estimated tax, total, installment plan, proceed to checkout or pay with PayPal, promo code, save for later. Currently empty, add items here. Okay, so if we have like the section saved for later, okay, we can save for later here. That makes sense now. I didn't see that uh, before. Um, yeah, because the clients, well, a lot of online clients, they just add to cart in order to see uh, how much they could be paying in shipping uh, and stuff like that. And they just want to uh, save um, their choice for, la for later. So saving it to some kind of a wish list uh, could be a good idea. Okay, so let's proceed to checkout. Like overall, I wouldn't change anything here. Let's proceed to checkout.
Okay. So, okay, so this is phone number. So it wasn't that apparent uh, when I went into the uh, the shopping cart. So maybe some additional information like what what this is in the shopping cart uh, would be ne needed. Okay, so we are now in the checkout and I like what I see here. So this basically shows us where we are in the process of checking out and what other steps uh, are needed from me as a, as a customer. So we are in the ship or pickup section, then we have payment and review. Amazing stuff. We can sign in, we can sign up and we can check out as a guest. We have to include our um, email address. Great. And we can also sign up for newsletter. This is good. Ship or pick up. Okay, let's let's uh, check the the ship option. Shipping address. Um, I don't really know. Can we can we ship to like UK? Because I don't know any addresses in uh, in the United States. Um, where can we, where can we ship to? Like, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember, I have already saved some UK address. And now we will go to payment, but we still haven't received any information on the shipping. So um, this bothers me a little bit because after putting in my address I should have some kind of a cost simulation or we should see uh, that payment is not really payment but shipping and payment. So this step is a little bit confusing because it suggests that in this step I am just paying for my order. And apparently I will not be only paying, but I will also be choosing the shipping type or shipping method. So it should be shipping and payment. Um, I think that would be a better uh, name. Let's continue. And we have shipping address, review delivery. Yes. So that's where we have our delivery. 7 to 12 business days, $25. That's fine. We have everything clearly written down, uh, clearly marked. Nothing uh, I would add here. We have a review of our product and we have order summary with shipping cost and total. Great. So we continue to payment. So again, this this uh, would suggest that you know I am just picking uh, picking the payment type. Wait, can we go back? Let me check something because maybe I didn't see where we are. No, we are still in the ship or pickup. Okay, so this step in itself has two steps. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking now whether or not I like it. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. But still it is a bit confusing because shipping or ship, ship or pick up, it seems to me to be one step and we have two steps inside this one step. That, that's a very small thing, but for some people it may be confusing. Uh, so let's go back to payment because I have already uh, spoken a bit too long about the, this first step. And we can choose credit or debit card. We can choose PayPal, Afterpay. What happens when we choose PayPal? Okay, it's just PayPal. And we can continue and most likely pay. So uh, review. Okay, let's move to review if we can.
Okay, so we have been redirected to uh, our PayPal page. So I'm going to cancel it and we are probably coming back to the store. Yes, we are. PayPal transaction cancelled. Please select alternative payment method. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I like that we are coming back to the store, but the store has our information remembered and we can continue with a different type of payment method. Sometimes uh, our online store, if we uh, if we don't manage to pay uh, on our first try for the order, they will, let's say, lose our information. They will not save it for later. Uh, and this may be annoying sometimes. Mm, so I think that bringing the customer back to his uh, order in the cart or in the checkout is is a very good good idea. So I like it a lot. Okay, so... We are going to finish on this. Yes, because we are nearing 30 minutes. Um, my comments, my verdict, let's say, when it comes to overall rating, I would give the store a good eight and a half, maybe even nine out of 10. Uh, I liked it a lot. I haven't seen many things to, to change. Uh, apart from a couple of small uh, items, a couple of small sections that should be moved or maybe uh, should be described a little uh, bit better. Um, I like the home page. I think that it's something a little bit different. I really liked the checkout experience, um, even though the first step uh, could be tiny bit confusing to some people. Um, I liked the search, the, uh, the search um, terms that were suggested uh, to the customers. That's, that's a really good uh, idea. Filtering, everything was good. Maybe add a little, uh, a little bit more to the filtering, uh, add some attributes. That would always be uh, a good uh, idea. Overall, I liked the, the shop a lot. Uh, very good job to, to whoever develops the, the shop and uh, and uh, manages it. Mm, I liked the, the graphics, the, the photos, everything. Uh, everything is, is really, really uh, good. So thank you very much for listening to my commentary. Uh, please mm, comment down below if uh, you agree with me or not. Maybe you also noticed something great uh, in the store or something less great, <laughs> maybe, that should be or could be uh, corrected or changed. Um, if you would like someone to help you with uh, your online store, with how it looks, with how it behaves. Uh, maybe you're looking for some suggestions of how you can uh, make more money uh, through your online store. Please uh, contact me. Uh, all the contact details are down uh, below below the, in the video. Thank you very much uh, for watching and I will see you in the next uh, episode. Goodbye.